Our top story, the man suspected of killing a Detroit woman and then dumping her body in the trash behind bars. At 6, we reported James Cockerham was arrested on the city's west side and tonight only on Action News. We're hearing from the victim's family. 7 Action News reporter Jen Sean spoke with her mother and brother and joins us live now from police headquarters tonight. Jen. Well, Brian, Elizabeth Candace Laird or Candy to loved ones had just turned 27. She was weeks away from a graduation. Now, this arrest does bring her family some closure. Her mother even telling me she was confident that Detroit police would find this man. However, they are devastated at the sudden loss of a young woman with so much left to accomplish. She'll never have a husband or my grandbabies. I won't ever see any grandbabies. Diana can can't imagine a world without her daughter Elizabeth Laird in it. My da daughter was bright. She's intelligent. I always wanted to be someone, you know, special in life. The 27 year old student who went by Candy had dreams of becoming a nurse. Wednesday, police found her body in a dumpster. This is the man investigators think is responsible. Saturday, James Cockerham was arrested on the city's west side. He should have never been let out. Cockerham had previously served time for rape. Detroit police say he met Laird in the elevator of this apartment building on the city's east side. Laird was staying with her boyfriend, according to her family. They don't believe the two knew each other. She did deserve this. It's the worst feeling I ever felt in my life. I'm broken up in a million pieces. The family has started this GoFundMe page to help cover the funeral. Look at my baby in a casket. I think this is going to be the hardest thing in my life that I'll ever have to do. Candy's older brother, Curtis, has this message for her suspected killer. You've taken 27 years of joy, laughter, and happiness and ended it in a matter of minutes. This is a monster. Now, Detroit police are still trying to determine how Cockerham had access to that apartment building as it is gated. He's in the Detroit Detention Center tonight awaiting arraignment. A link to that GoFundMe page can be found on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting live from Detroit tonight, Jen Schantz, 7 Action News.